I'm back. Elvira's back. So we got the noodles done, and this is what they look like. And then I just them a little bit. And when you do the noodles, you only use a cup. You measure a cup, and that's what we've always done as a kid. So you don't, and stuff because we usually use about a, a cup of the noodles, and then you put your chicken on it and everything else. So now we're going to put them in a bowl since they're all rinsed up. Because I had drained them a while, and I had to clean my stove because my stove got to be a disaster, and we had to do that before I come back. Good size bowl, I'll show you here. That's a good size bowl of noodles. And then we put them in a bowl and then we put them to the side. Now we're gonna get our pan going here. I already rinsed this out, so we're gonna use chop up an onion. I'll bring those in a minute. We have to get two tablespoons of country crock. That's what I use. That's what we've always used. So, and you probably could change it. You know, some people use oil. I don't. We never did. Um, that's something we never really used a lot of at home. Is oil to brown stuff and that. We never did that. So. Tablespoons. Two. And then we're gonna chop our onion. We have to chop our onion. And the onion is gonna saute in that. Out of that sauteing, we're gonna get our chicken washed. So. After we get the onion brown, you can put the chicken in it. Brown on each side. Season salt and pepper. That's all you can do. Season salt, pepper, and paprika. The key is the Hungarian paprika. That's the whole key. That's the whole key. The onion is strong. this brown in with seasoned salt and pepper. So now we're gonna wash our chicken. Why is it doing that? You just have to learn to multitask, I guess. And, and that's what you do on this thing here. 
it's really unique because there's a lot of steps to it. But in the end, the re in the end, the result is so good. It's so yummy. And that's the whole key. Season them real good. I even use season salt and pepper. Pepper. Okay. You're gonna brown them. Then we're gonna put Hungarian paprika. We want to get them browned on each side, and uh, then we'll use our sour cream. That's the whole base of the whole thing. Because you got to leave them, once we get them brown, we have to leave them simmer. Once we brown them on each side, we have to leave them simmer. And then uh, I'll come back and show you how to combine the sour cream and then the final product is what it is. Once you put the sour cream in, um, that's it. You just leave it simmer for about five minutes or so, and that's it. And you eat, put it over the noodles, boom, you got your dinner. So it's, it's a yummy meal, just I think more prep time than anything. I think it takes longer to make than it does anything else. And I think that's one thing that I like about it. I make it, but... Not a lot. I make it on holidays or sometimes I just get hungry for it. It's like, hmm, I really want that today. And it's just a matter if you want to kill your kitchen, kill your stove, you know, and everything. But overall, it's a yummy dinner. See, that's what you do. And, and we flip them more than once because you want to season them really good. So, I'm not going to flip. And you're going to flip them a few times and season them a few times. Um, Mm 
And then what we're going to do, again, the pepper. Here we go. And then what we'll do, here's what we, get you, we need. I'll flip them one more time. Well, after I flip them one more time to brown, we're going to put water on them and we're going to cover them with water. And we do cover them with water. And then we leave them simmer for a while. And I just add more paprika. And away it goes. You just want to get them like browned on each side just a little bit. Because you want the, the seasonings and stuff, the paprika, to cook into the thing. And you just want to brown them enough to, uh, you know, get where they need to be, like sear. That's how my dad always did it. He always brought, like, let it go on each side for maybe about a minute or two, then flip them. And then he'd fill it up with water, Hungarian paprika, and let them cook. And that's what we're going to do. Tastes like it has to taste like when I grew up, so I know I got it right. <laughs> it might sound funny, but that's the only way I know. Fill it up with water. And this is the key. Salt and pepper, you're pretty much done with now. This is where the whole thing comes in. Now we're going to leave it cook and let them simmer for a while. I'll be back in about 45 minutes to an hour, show you how to add the sour cream and what it looks like at the end and the calorie count and carbs and all that. God bless everybody, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Don't forget to keep God and the angels in your life to stay healthy. See you soon. Hit the like and, like and subscribe. Bye.